Hello and welcome. I am Saurabh Tipaile. I am the Assistant Professor of Economics at the KTHM College. I will be teaching you the Business Economics paper which is the compulsory paper for the FY BCom. From this year uh, onwards, sorry from the last year, University of Pune or the Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University has started the CBCS pattern or the semester pattern for the FY BCom. Okay, so in this lecture I will be talking about the syllabus introduction and the audio of that syllabus so let's get started so just to show you the syllabus pdf i have opened this for you now just take a look here the first unit for you in this syllabus is the unit introduction and the basic concepts okay there are four units in the semester first first is the introduction and basic concepts second is consumer behavior and third is demand and supply analysis fourth is production analysis okay so these are four units or the chapters in the first semester okay now let's see the contents in the first uh, unit the meaning and nature scope and importance of business economics that i will be teaching in the next uh, next lecture then the concept of macro and microeconomics then the tools of economic analysis the basic concepts of business economics and the goals of firm of economic and non economic goals of the firm okay so the purpose and the skills to be developed in out of this course are to make you aware about the microeconomics to help you understand the difference between the micro and macroeconomics and to make the student understand the economic and non economic goals of the firm see here in this first chapter i will be not talking about some cliche concepts of the microeconomics that the what is the demand and supply analysis and what is mean by the cardinal utility approach and marginal utility approach and what is mean by um, uh, Marshall curves and etc etc. Here I will be teaching you only the just basic concepts. You might have studied in your 11-12 uh, uh, years but still uh, just to give you the revision I will be teaching this topic to you. Next chapter of the consumer behavior here you can see here, here my cursor is uh, uh, revolving. Here you will be studying the utility. Now what is mean by utility and what is mean by cardinal utility and what is mean by uh, ordinary utility. Here I will be teaching these topics to you. Now here you, we, you, we will use some graphs, some graphical representations, some schedules they use and some data analysis will be also be happening here. But in this chapter, we will specifically focused on concept and the understanding of the concept is important for you. So I will be teaching you the concepts only. Okay, so cardinal utility approach stands for the uh, utility measurement in terms of numbers and ordinary, ordinary utility approach stands for the utility uh, measurement in terms of ordering or the uh, numbering but in terms of order numbers. Okay, so this is about the utility uh, chapter and the consumer behavior chapter. Okay, so the third chapter is the demand and supply analysis. Now what is meant by demand and supply analysis? See, demand and supply is the heart of the business economics and I would say that it's the heart of the economics only. Okay, So demand and supply is very important and to understand the demand and supply analysis, we will see the law of demand and demand concept of the elasticity demand and how the elasticity, elasticity gets measured. Okay, So there are some types of elasticity. First is income elasticity of demand, cross elasticity of demand and supply of demand, supply elasticity of demand and the equilibrium analysis will be also studied here. Okay. So what is meant by law of demand? You must be knowing that when the prices of, of the commodity uh, increases, then the demand for that commodity also gets decreases and vice versa when the demand for commodity increases, then the prices of that commodity get also, also gets increases because price is the function of demand. And vice versa, we can say that demand is the function of price also. Okay, so the, uh, both are dependent upon each other. This is the basic law of demand, but we will not talk about it only. We will see how the uh, elasticity gets measured and what is meant by elasticity. Now, what is meant by just to give you the brief idea of elasticity, you must have uh, seen the elastic of the of the rubber. Ah, so elastic is like uh, if we if we stretch it, then for after some time it will again come back to its original point but the very important characteristics characteristics of the rubber is that it is elastic that is means we can stretch it okay so here in elasticity of demand we can say that if we stretch prices 
then if we stage prices then what will be its effect on the demand okay so this is about the elasticity concept i'll be teaching you about it don't worry that will be a very uh, good chapter and uh, it's interesting chapter i personally like it and the production analysis what is mean by production uh, function total leverage and marginal production that is tam law of variable proportion law of returns to scale these are the topics which we you will be studying in your fourth chapter and here is the end of the your semester first okay so this was all about your syllabus now to give you the now to give you uh, sorry uh, now to give you the basic introduction of the syllabus i would say that uh see uh, cbcs pattern stands for the credit based choice system okay here you have to earn credits each compulsory paper carries four credits okay so you have to earn those four credits if you fail to earn those four credits then you will not be able to proceed to the another class please understand this but the very positive point of this cbcs pattern is that you are not only restricted to this syllabus only you can choose whatever subjects you want from other streams from the other departments also so interdisciplinary study will be promoted here and i will talk about this pattern in our upcoming lectures also so till then uh, stay safe stay healthy take necessary precautions and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you